you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. This video will demonstrate how to install and configure an Unleashed network in the gateway mode using the Unleashed mobile app. When configuring the Master Unleashed AP as a gateway, the AP is going to be sitting in between the LAN and WAN connection. It will act as a gateway for both the wired and wireless clients. All the traffic will go through this AP and the AP will do the DHCP server function as well as NAT and other master functions. When configuring the master AP in the gateway mode, there are a few limitations compared to the typical install. All Unleashed AP models with multiple Ethernet ports support gateway mode if your network's WAN bandwidth is higher than 100 megabits per second. However, we recommend using 11AC Wave 2 or even better 11AX AP for the fastest internet access experience. The more horsepower, the better. Starting in release 200.9, we have added a feature to disable wireless LAN so the dedicated AP can function as a dedicated gateway controller, leaving the other unleashed APs in the network to handle the WLAN clients and traffic. In the gateway mode, the maximum number of APs in an unleashed network is 25 versus 128 in the typical mode, and it will support 512 clients versus 2,048 clients in the typical mode. There is also no VLAN or Bonjour gateway support. When mesh is enabled in a gateway mode, and when the WAN IP address is obtained via point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet, or PPPoE, the master AP cannot be part of the mesh tree. However, mesh can still be enabled, and any member AP can be a root AP or mesh AP. The WAN and LAN IP addresses must be in different IP subnets, and the address ranges may not overlap. In the gateway mode, redundancy is disabled. This means that if the master or gateway AP goes offline for any reason, a member AP will not be able to take over and become the new master. Before starting, after receiving your unleashed AP, attach an Ethernet cable to your access point and plug it into your internet router. Then attach a power cord or plug it into a PoE-enabled switch and boot the access point. When the AP comes from the factory, it is in the factory reset condition. After booting up, when the power LED is solid green and the control LED is blinking green, the AP is ready to configure. At this point, it is broadcasting a configure.me SSID with the last six hex digits of the AP's MAC address. You then connect to the configure.me SSID and begin installation. So after launching the Unleashed mobile app, it'll bring you to this page. And as a note, the little green arrow in the upper left-hand corner is not part of the mobile app. That's the recording software that I'm using to record this demo. So to install in the gateway mode, after launching the app, I want to tap on Gateway Install. And it says to turn on your AP and wait for a few minutes and set your mobile Wi-Fi to config.me with the last six hex digits. So I'm going to make sure I'm connected to Configure Me. So this is the network. I'm connecting to that. It says internet may not be available. Okay, so now I'm connected to it. So I'll go back to my menu and I'll press on start. And I go through a five-step menu. So in this case, since I'm configuring as a gateway, it talks about the master IP assignment. I could edit that. It's automatically by DHCP, but I could put a static address in there or I could put a automatic DHCP so I'm going to keep it at DHCP and this is the address of your router so this is the WAN side and I can select which port I want for my WAN and if I have a question mark it'll call up the AP so I'm going to select port 2 for my WAN link I could turn mesh on if I want to so I'll go ahead and enable that and then I'll press next Step two is my LAN settings. So by default, it gives me a class B address of 10.106.0.1 with my subnet mask and a DHCP server. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the number. So then under my server, this is how many IP addresses I'm going to put out. I can select the number of client IPs. I'm going to put up to 512, and then I'm going to click on Done. And then I'm going to select Next. Step three is to give the WLAN a name. So I'm going to call mine Awani Art Unleashed. I can put in a WLAN password. So I'll type one in. And because it's a demo, I'm just going to put in a simple one. If, if I wanted to see what it was, I could press on the eyeball. And it'll show me what it is. Country by default is US. So now I will select Next. 
So this is my admin username and password. This is when I log into my dashboard. This is what I'll use. So I'm just going to select admin and I'll put in a password. And I'll click on done and then I'll press next. And this is my password recovery if I wanted to set one in. Just because this is a demo, I'm going to bypass this for now. But this is a good practice in case you forget what your password is. You can put in a recovery email and then you can give yourself a question or you can create your own questions or whatever. I'm going to skip this for now and go ahead and press skip. And now this is my setup reviews. It tells me the name of my WLAN and my password if I want to press on that. And then it says to manage your network, log into the dashboard. All right, we're ready to go. I'm going to click on finish. It's going to create the WLAN, it's going to apply the configuration, and now it's going to start the configuration process. So this is going to take about three and a half to four minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording at this point in time. And we're almost finished. A couple more seconds. And it says, congratulations, your Unleashed network is ready to use. And now it says, reconnect to the Iwani Art unleashed for a speed test. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to press on manage my network. And it says you're not connected to the unleashed network. So go to settings. Okay. And here's my Awani Art unleashed. So I'm going to press on that. I'm going to get connected to it. I'll go back to my menu. And now I'm going to press on manage network. And it says accessing the unleashed network. And it asked me a question, do you want to remotely manage this network? Now, normally you would do this, but we can come back and do this later. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this for now. And that brings me into my Unleashed dashboard. And it says, please refresh the dashboard to fetch the latest data. Okay, so there you can see it. We have one WLAN that's been created. And from this point on, you can monitor and configure the Unleashed network. So as you can see, it's really easy to set this up as a gateway mode. You just have to remember some of the limitations. And from now on, you can go in and configure and monitor and set up WLANs, add switches, and do administrative tasks.